since I want to turn down this way. In fact, I'm just going to stay on the sidewalk here for the moment. Looks like this is a cycle track that's under construction right now. Got a bike lane down there. So it looks like I may have a bike lane over on that side. We'll uh, get our way over there when we can. We're actually gonna be turning right up here before too long. Back to this next intersection. Oh joy, it looks like a fun one. all looks like pl public plaza area public space that has been created recently all pretty cool you can get some uh, accessibility ramps here a lot of this is still under construction very interesting i don't know i like my directions better Anyway, so here we go. This kind of looks like it's just been slapped together a little bit. It's some <laughs> tiny little bike infrastructure in there, I guess is what that is. See our little uh, mixing area here. All good fun. Pretty much digging the fact that we've got this little lane. Can't really figure out if it really is just for us. It's pretty wild. side streets are pretty quiet all right very interesting little context over here definitely has a bit of a suburban feel to it We see another Valib station over there.
first time up this way for sure. Heading over the river. Not sure if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm doing it anyways. The clot of cars over there. Looks like this space is uh, used for people walking, people biking, scooting, all manner of transport and mobility. All right. Okay, those cars go into a tunnel. We stay up here. And I don't know that I'm doing the right thing in terms of uh, what uh, where Mark lives, but had a little bit of time to explore, so I am. Quite interesting. It looks like the bike lane just ends. Hmm? Alley Rosa Parks. Very nice. Parking protected, bike lane, skateboard lane, everything else lane. But it is nice that we have a little separation here. Gotcha. Oh, cool. First one of these little guys. A shared street situation. I've got a car coming behind me. Space. Tion. With 
fellows are welcome. But you can see it's a 20 kilometer per hour zone and the pedestrian is the biggest. So the pedestrian gets the priority, then the bike, then the car. So this is a rather interesting little uh, narrow street here. You see that it has uh, cars going in one direction there, but we're able to do contraflow in this direction. Incredibly narrow, but uh, with it being so narrow, I suppose it's traffic calmed. I've got uh, cyclists coming at me. Pretty comfortable actually. Another narrow street, really no provisions for people riding, but it's pretty pretty comfortable. Just an awful lot of these uh, smaller streets, one way. Drivers are pretty impatient and moving pretty fast for the most part. Some of them aren't. So. Oh, look at this, this is a nice raised intersection. The entire intersection is raised. So, nice little speed bump, kind of raised intersection, slowing down motor vehicles, it's pretty good. Again, the main problem is just too many cars. Head up this direction. Again, you do see more high vis and more helmets here in Paris. You see why, too. It's much more of a hostile environment, that's for danger. All right. Just keep wandering around. Lots of apartments. I have no idea if I'm in the right neighborhood for Mark or not. He said that uh, the dog cemetery was not far from his apartment. I believe we're not far from that. Give him a call in just a moment. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.